guys, so today we're going to go to King Kakuji, which is also known as the Golden Pavilion. I'm sure you guys have seen photos of them if you Google Kyoto, so it's a super popular tourist spot. The top two stories of the pavilion are covered in pure gold leaf. Quick check on the outfit, I'm wearing this Balenciaga cap. Tea's from Uniqlo, and there's a tiny banana here, and pants. Okay, I'm having a Uniqlo fit today, I just realized. Shoes are the speed trainers as always, and I have my Prada bum bag and my drone. On the way to the station now, and then we saw this bakery, so we'll pop in real quick to just get a quick bite. Getting this and it's a green tea scone with white chocolate and coconut. I'm gonna try my scone. It almost tastes like a giant cookie. The matcha flavor is not very strong, but I can taste a lot of white chocolate. I can see the coconut, but I can't really taste it. Time to catch this bus. So I have the Golden Pavilion right behind me and it's just super busy here. There is a mission free to get in here and it was about maybe 5 Australian dollars so not too bad. We should move on from here now because I feel like I'm taking up people's spot to take photos. Just walk past the store. I saw a photo and they served the soft serve with like gold leaf on top. It looks real fancy so I think I'm gonna try it. Also how can I say no to ice cream? I couldn't find a good spot to put my tripod, so it's just on this railing here. But I got the super bougie gold ice cream, it's so pretty. It cost me 940 yen, so I think that's pretty expensive. Look at it, so it's matcha ice cream, that's a gold leaf on top. That is shiratama, which is glutinous rice ball, and then red bean. Shall we try it? Also, the gold leaf doesn't taste like anything and it's like stuck on my lip. Got it off! <laughs> Back on the bus again and the next time we're heading to is Kushibi Inari Taisha, but it's all the way on the other end and I have to catch the bus back to Kyoto Station and then from Kyoto Station to the place it takes about 53 minutes so I guess it's time to take a nap on the bus. <laughs> So this ikura. This is raw horse meat and mane. I thought mane and horse is the same thing. So I've never tried this before. Very curious. I think I put too much soy sauce. <laughs> I can't really describe this as a flavor. The texture obviously is chewier. Then so it's not like fish when you bite into it, it just disappears. Whereas like this one is kind of chewy. I'm still chewing on the horse meat. It doesn't really have a strong flavor. I thought it has like a gamey flavor. This one? This one's really tough. Mm, I don't know if I will have this again. Finally, on the train to go to Fushimi Nari, we got distracted by sushi. That was really good. It cost about like $33 for my mom and I. I think that's pretty reasonable. The train ride's about 15 50. 15 minutes from here to Inari Station. Probably a much better idea to come here really early in the morning if you guys want to get some good photos because there's so many people here right now. It's about 3 o'clock and it's uh, impossible to take a photo with no one in the background. It's still really pretty though. I bought this thing that's like 500 yen and what you're meant to do is you're meant to write I guess a wish here and then you can hang it up behind See those little things over there? So you can hang it up there and then your wish is going to come true. So I bought 
this thing. There's like a fortune note in there. I wasn't really sure what she was trying to explain to me. Pretty sure you open this and the note's in there and then you need to tie it onto there. Really? Says your fortune good? Don't be irritated and keep calm, you will realize your wish. Missing thing. It will be found in a low place. <laughs> what am I missing? Travel? No profits? Do not try now. Oh. Does that mean? I know why. I've been spending all my money at Supreme, that's what it means. Gonna fold it up to its thing and then put it over there. some food so of course I need to suss it out so I bought one of these because it's so super cute in there are these mass biscuits so cute I just saw this and it's soy sauce ice cream. I've already had the matcha ice cream earlier today, but uh, it's on holiday, so it doesn't matter. I'll show you ice cream because it's all matcha. I'll show you this. I got my soy sauce ice cream, so let's try this. It tastes just like soy sauce, but I don't know how to describe it. It tastes like soy sauce, but ice cream and I like it. <laughs> it has like the sweet savory thing happening so it works out really well. They are rice cakes and they're toasted in that thing I was showing you guys before and the one I got is matcha. I'm with Lawrence! <laughs> And we're gonna go get some food now. We're going to this place called Gokyo for ramen. And if you guys watch my Sydney vlog, they open one in Sydney as well. So I'm gonna taste how good it is here. I feel like it would be a lot better, but at the same time, it could be exactly the same. Put my name down for the ramen place because the line is it's not that long but there is a line so it must be a popular spot Lawrence usually comes here when he's in Kyoto and he said there wasn't a line before and it was pretty low-key but I guess it isn't anymore so people have discovered that's really good I mean it must be good because they have one in Sydney as well so hopefully it tastes the same I can't decide if I should get the same thing I got in Sydney or I should get the other one because I know they had a spicy one that I really wanted to try so I'll decide later also I'm very well lit because there is a vending machine right behind me and I really enjoy the vending machines here. They have a huge selection of drinks. They also do like cold drinks or warm drinks in the same vending machine. I'm gonna stop talking about vending machine. The next time you see me, I will be eating ramen. <laughs> Finally got into the restaurant after waiting for 50 minutes. Just looking at the menu at the moment. They're known for their bed wings or ramen, which is what I had when I went to the Sydney store. We're all getting the special kogashi misome. So we've just been told there is a cover charge. It's 400 yen per person. Why do they charge me 400 yen for just sitting here? There's a 400 yen cover charge per person. Seating is limited to two hours per table. I'm sure I can eat the ramen in like 10 minutes, okay. <laughs> but anyway, it's fine. Got some roast duck. It's like a cold roast duck. It's not good, but it's not bad. It's pretty average. Got the kage. It's very comparable to the one I had in Sydney. Oh, really? Mmm. So they got the taste really close. They got it right. But I don't remember like 100% though of the flavor. <laughs> but I just remember it being really good. But the menu was different though. In Sydney, they have a spicy ramen. Mm -hmm. The spicy version, yeah, and here they didn't have it. They only had like the tonkotsu and the ben miso and the ben shoyu. 